And of course, the Star Wars universe is alive and well on QVC. If you've seen episode one, we have all kinds of great stuff for you from the movie. If you haven't seen it, we have things that'll whet your appetite to go. We're gonna take a look at the Star Wars episode one space battle rocket watch. I think it's pocket I watch. I think it's pocket watch okay. too. Why don't this we is, agree on that? This is $24.75. And this, of course, well, it has two rocket ships on the pocket watch. So if you take a look at this, this is gonna have the Naboo fighter and the droid spaceship both going around the, the face of the watch. Aha, uh -huh. so the droid starfighter is chasing the Naboo starfighter. Yeah, and you can see where the lasers are coming across. He's cool. just missing the tail of the Naboo starfighter. That's very clever. And I'll bet you each move is, is a, a second. second. Stop, How you're so clever. clever. <laughs> of course, you have the minute, the hour hand. This is actually going to be the second hand with the right. two rocket ships going around. That's very cool. Yeah, and this is a pocket watch because what you have, of course, is the band right, whoops, the band right here which says Naboo, squa oh, Bravo Squadron. Huh. And then it has this clip at the top, which is going to clip on... Um, Again, a belt loop yeah, or... Yeah, belt loop or something like that. Yeah. See? So this is, this is going to be um, a pocket watch. And these kinds of watches that just clip from uh, a belt loop or mm -hmm. from the buckle of a belt are some watches that are extremely popular. Yeah, so these it's are a neat very, way to yeah, have something These are different. very cool to wear with a pair of jeans, putting yep. that, uh, you know, if you wear... Levi's jeans and have that fifth pocket up here. It's uh, oh, yeah. pretty cool. Well, actually, all jeans have a fifth yeah, pocket. Yeah, Levi here. probably started it though. Yeah. You so, know, oh, they're there the innovators. It is. By the way, these that are extremely great. popular and uh, going very fast. It's one of the new things that we have in our in our two-hour collectible show. It's a lot of fun, it's and it is very neat just different. to have something different. Yeah, very cool. And by the way, don't forget next hour the Mirador is coming up. So we're going to show you a few things coming up from that in just a few minutes. For under $25 is a great price on this one too because you're not going to have to worry about going out and spending a lot of money just to have something that's going to be very cool. Yep. That's, I like that's a, it. That's a great idea. It's a great gift idea if you know somebody who likes very... Hello. Oops. Uh, <laughs> oh, I like that. it so much. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, Steve just absconded well, with I it. Well, I tried. They caught me. And of course now the battle would sound something like this. So you're providing your own sound effects, is it? I don't think that's one we heard before, is it? What is that exact sound of? Uh, it sounds like maybe the, I don't know, it sounds like when they're taking off. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like this, the Naboo Starfighter, but it could be this. I know what that sounds yeah. like. Yeah, I don't know. Or this. Yes, my master. That's a familiar sound. <laughs> You're going to have to take one of those home. There's no doubt about I'm it. I'm so way too obnoxious with that. It's so much fun. But this is, and you can see here that when Yo Kim wears it, he just puts it right on the belt loop. It's going to be something that is one of, it's, it is one of like the really hip, cool, new ways of wearing a watch. Yeah. And, and there are a lot of guys who just don't like to wear a watch around the wrist. Right. And this is a uh, quartz watch and battery operated, so it's going to last a long time. And it does say pocket watch on the... <laughs> <laughs> and, and now take a close look at that. And once again, I'll supply the sound effects. See, that's what, that's what the yeah. battle sounds like. Very cool. I know. I, I really am not fit to have this remote control. Luckily, there's a mute on it, which would save anybody else who was in my house. Yes, my master. I'm way too entertained by that. Yes. C61851. 855 Take is the Star somewhere. Wars Episode 1 Space Battle Pocket Watch for $24.75. <laughs> it is brand new this evening. Hey, coming up next hour, Ellen Langus Campbell is going to be joining us for an hour of Le Mirador Skin Care. This is the uh, five piece travel collection that sold out back in October. We just now got it back in stock for you. It's going to be a good size. Well, this is a little closer. Switzerland, yeah. yeah. Sounds nice. Be nice to go, but. All right, now we showed you in the very beginning of this two-hour Star Wars show our last full presentation on the Today's Special Value. We have a few seconds. We just want to give you a reminder of this because in an hour, uh, the price on this goes away. We were very, very busy. I know it was very tough to get through before, so we wanted to give you a few minutes to kind of as a reprieve if you couldn't get through right. before. This is the Episode One official movie poster from Lucasfilm's The Real Thing for $19.95. You're also going to get the Episode One pin done in blue, which you can only get here on QVC. You're getting both of these for under $20. And when we're talking about movie posters, you were saying that well, they are, they're very tough to come by. Yeah, I mean, just any mover, movie poster for a B movie, if you go into any store in Hollywood, for example, and you get movie posters, I mean, they're going to run you 25 bucks for you know some movie that you've never heard of. Right. So to get the Star Wars poster, which is super hot and one that the dealers can't get, 
for this price, for under $20, is pretty amazing. And by the way, if you take a look at this, this is the Lucasfilm Limited watermark on the back, which is, you were saying, made to be seen in black light, right. but you can still Absolutely. see it. Absolutely, you can see it. You can just barely make it out under regular light, too. And right. that's your assurance that this is not a counterfeit poster and it's not a bootleg. Years from now, you'll have that assurance right. on the poster. If you go to trade it or maybe if you go to sell it to someone, you'll know and they'll know with assurance that this is the authentic thing. And you were also saying that they're only going to make a certain number of these, and when they're gone, they're gone. That's I right. Mean, no matter where you happen to be able to get a hold of one, if you're lucky enough to get one, if you don't get a poster from this original run, you're out of luck. My guess is that these will be gone from the primary market within a couple of weeks or you know, wow. one or two months at the very most. And how much would you give to have a movie poster from, let's say, Return of the Jedi right now, Empire Strikes Back, A New Hope? How much would you, you know, how much are you kicking yourself now right. that you didn't get a movie poster 20 years ago when the first Star Wars came and, out? And at this price, there's uh, no reason to kick yourself uh, five years yeah. from now or even five days from now. It's definitely, the only thing under $20 for one of these, the value is, is so good that a lot of people are getting more than one because you want to have one to enjoy right. and one to keep in good condition. Yes. Well, of course, when you frame it, it's in good condition, but yeah. then you've sort of ruined the collectability of it because if you're going to trade it or sell it at some future point, you need right. a mint condition poster rolled. And this poster is just beautiful. I mean, the design of it, the, the, the art through Struzan's work, and you get the pin. We're going to say a very quick hi to Tom from Maryland. Tom, meet Steve Sansweet. Hi, Tom. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? Just We're great. We're doing great. Have you, have you been out looking for the movie poster? Or? Uh, no. The, my uh, son has seen the movie, and I'm looking forward to seeing it uh, tomorrow with, oh, great. with uh, 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 some friends. That's great. Yeah. I, you know, I've seen all the other ones, and I've collected all the other uh, collectibles, and uh, I'll tell you, um, I also have, I'm in pharmaceutical sales, and I have a, a doctor that has got all these different posters from different movies, and he also has an original one from The Wizard of Oz, and I figured wow. this might be a way to get into his office by giving him <laughs> one as a gift. You know, well, and you know. uh, How I'll interesting. tell you, I think he's going to flip out because he just Tom? has all these different ones, and he loves Star Wars, so I, I think, think this is going to score a lot of that's points. That's a fascinating reason. probably one reason. of the surest bets I've yeah, heard. that's great. Right there. But, you know, and it is. It's one of those things, Tom, that everybody loves, people are absolutely crazy about, they're not going to be able to find it just anywhere. Right. It's very, no. very tough to find. So it's a great way to get your foot in the door if they already collect the posters. Thank you so much for calling and enjoy the movie. You guys tomorrow. are wonderful, and you have some great items. And I think uh, I picked up quite a few of the items. And I'll tell you, you, they can't get any better prices than through QVC. Well, thanks a lot. You guys have a great weekend. You too, Tom. Good luck. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> right. Bye. You're going to get the official movie poster. This is the real thing by the artist who has done numerous movie posters for Star Wars. This is the one that everybody's going to be collecting, everybody's going to want, right. nobody's going to be able to find. Fewer than 9,000 of these remain for QVC, and the price is gone at midnight. And when that is over, and in a few weeks when these are no longer available on any market, anywhere, right. you're going to be at somebody's mercy if they want to resell you one they already have. C62633, the Episode 1 official movie poster and Episode 1 pin for under $20. Quick review, don't forget the book by Terry Brooks. This is uh, a novel that has even more than the movie. It's just, if you saw the movie, it'll just make you want to read the book more. $23.50, F23028. It comes in one of the four covers. And the brand new Episode 1 2 watch sets. You can see 3PO and Darth Maul, or Anakin and Jar Jar. And each of them comes in a lightsaber handle design case. For under $18, two watches, C61851. There's a brand new today, as well as the brand new Pod Racer game, where you get to choose your pod, choose your character, choose your track, choose your speed. And you know, let me tell you, it is not for the meek and faint of heart. Uh, E23152, it includes also an episode one preview behind the Magic CD-ROM, which gives you a lot of information about behind the scenes making of the movie. It's under $50, it is advance orders only. And the brand new episode one, Federation Fighter, T11772, $21.75. These are gonna be a lot of fun to play with. They shoot little missiles, they come off, they snap back together. They're great for the kids. Turn into droids. Yeah, they do turn into droids. And, the Star Wars Episode One Sith Remote Control. It's a universal remote control, brand new tonight. It does have the remote control, which will work, you know, TV, VCR, satellite, cable, DVD. But the coolest thing is, yes, my 
Blockbuster. And the we know effects, what Lisa has ordered tonight. The fact that it lights up, it's $136 and it's brand new tonight, FM5908. It does have a mute button, by the way, which my friends would be very glad to know. But do you? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and a set of four die-cast watches, C61440. These are like some really, oh, really yeah, great-looking great. watches. You're going to get all four, R2-D2, the Battle Droid, the Pit Droid, and Darth Maul, and that special... Um, of course, display box, yeah, the which you only box get great. from QVC. It's an amazing collection for under $50. I think we're the only ones that even offer these all together, and only about 500 of our original quantity remaining. Also, these are extremely popular and brand new today. The Episode 1 containers, R2-D2 or Darth Maul. The little heads open up and you can put things in there. $23, C61648. And the brand new Episode 1 acrylic blankets for $27. Your choice of Jar Jar, as you see right there, or Anakin or Darth Maul, H65030. Needless to say, Darth Maul is the most popular, and once again, those are brand new tonight. Also, the Episode 1 talking watches, Darth Maul or Jar Jar. They have pictures on the band where you push the picture and it says different things from each of the characters. $32, C63172. And the brand new Space Battle Pocket Watch for $24.75, C61855, that one has been extremely popular. And our first, our first actual presentation of the Episode 1 plush dolls, they are so cute. Yeah, they really are. We love those. Um, Watto, Jar Jar, or R2 Dito, Watto is already extremely limited. Watto and Jar Jar are both bendable, and of course R2 D2 makes the authentic R2 D2 sounds. $19 for your choice. And all the music you've been hearing in the last two hours is from the Episode 1 soundtrack. It is some of the most amazing music you have ever heard. $12 for the cassette, $15 for the CD, E23434. And the Picture Plus image camera, which can be just a regular 35mm camera, or it can superimpose um, pictures of five of the main characters on the left-hand side of the picture. It's $29.25 and looks like the binoculars used by the battle droids, T11742. And Episode 1, Phantom Menace Game. This is one that recreates the movie, lets you walk through it, interact with the other characters. You're Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's laser battles. There's all kinds of good stuff. And it also comes with an Episode 1 preview behind the Magic CD. Under $50, E23150. And don't forget our today's special value. Please stay on the line. We are always very busy when we look at this because it is a price that is only good for today. It is a poster that most of us will only have a chance to get here on QVC. Right. The theaters are legally not all even allowed to give you this poster. It's $19.95 for the official Lucasfilms movie poster and the episode one pin you can only get here on QVC. When, the, when midnight strikes, the price is gone. It's C62633. This is a limited run for the movie posters. When they're gone, they're gone. And as far as the ultimate and collectibles go, it is the only thing produced for the movie by Lucas Films as a collectible. And don't forget, tomorrow night is going to be our last Star Wars show of the weekend. And we have a lot more brand new ideas for you tomorrow night from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Steve Sansweet, great seeing you. Lisa, thank you. Once it's again, always a pleasure. See you tomorrow night. Absolutely. You can even sleep in tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, doesn't that great. sound good? <laughs> All right, make sure and stay tuned. Alan Langus Campbell is joining us next with an entire hour of Lamirador. It's a story that is unlike any other in skincare. And if you haven't heard it, you could learn a lot. So don't go away. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Could not get more. Oh $21.94, <laughs> C62633. And don't forget, my favorite. We did it! <laughs> This is the episode one Jar Jar wake up system, oh which my. includes the talking Jar Jar and the pit droid. Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> and of course, they're going to interact so that he can wake up with your child, go to sleep at a certain time with your child, wake your child up by talking to him, do all kinds of phrases for your child. Um, always know the correct time. They can just push the button on his handle, tell him the time. It is the coolest, coolest thing. M5903 for under $45. It's so cool. And here's Paul Kelly with a little tidbit on where the word blockbuster came from. It was over 20 years ago, in 1977, in fact, that the term blockbuster applied to a movie was first used in the English language. It happened right here in Man's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California, and it was applied to the original Star Wars movie. It happened because the lines for tickets here at Man's Chinese Theater went all the way around the block 
and kept on going, thus busting the block. The original Star Wars, the first blockbuster movie, this one, episode one, is going to be a block shatterer. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I never knew that. I never knew that either. Bust the blockbuster. Originally came from the original Star Wars. That's great. And of course, if you were looking at uh, Paul Kelly standing in front of the Man Chinese Theater, you saw the real movie poster in the background, which you can get here on QVC. But not for long, I'm yeah, afraid. Yeah, if you're quick, you can only, only have about 1,500 of those left. All right, this is the Episode One plush dolls. These are a lot of fun. Your choice they really for $19, are. C61646. We have Jar Jar and Watto, who are bendable, and R2D2. Who does the really cool sound? Yeah, actual sound from the film, which is and look how well he's designed for a plush. The yeah. lines on this, it's just uh, yeah, really, really well done and weighted so that it'll stand up. These are actually little beanbag weights, kind of oh yeah, on cool. the bottom. And you were saying the other day that he has this third, the third leg, yeah, the leg there in was, the center. There was one of these made in 1978 and just had a little squeeze button here, went. Yeah, but, but this, this one. <laughs> That's a really that's yeah. the real R2D2 sound. It really sound. is the sound that Ben Burt came up with, the great sound designer for Star Wars and now for Episode One. And of course, um, by the way, you see R2D2 in all six movies. Yes, you do. Very very cool. Well, and we haven't seen him in characters. all six yet. Well, we will. We will. <laughs> Two of the new characters are Watto and Jar Jar, and these are two characters that are definitely capturing the hearts of everybody who sees the movie. And this is our first Watto collectible. Watto is, uh, yeah, we have one other one on the show, the um, keychain. Oh, that's right. That's right. So we have two Watto collectibles, but, you know, Watto is a gruff toy Darian. He's the junk dealer. Toy Darian. And he's the only guy who has the spare part that the Jedi need in order to get off of Tatooine. And, you know, there's a few things that don't work on toy Darians. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Let's try. No, you're right. What do you think you are? Some kind of Jedi? <laughs> you do that very well, Lisa. I know. I really have that gravelly, yes, smoked for a lifetime do. voice of Watto there. It's and so funny. Look and at then, of Jar course, Jar. Jar Jar. And Jar Jar sounds like. Is it coming? Is it coming? Now, that's coming from the other Jar Jar, that's from not the other from Jar this. Jar. This, this one. <laughs> this one does not talk. Yeah, this, this Jar this Jar. This one is bendable. Yes. So it was a lot of fun. This one is very soft. If you have a young child that you want to be able to carry it around, really play with yeah, it, really cuddly. you know, really cuddly, that's what this one is for. And it even has yeah, the like, ears, yep, yep, which you I can like that. <laughs> this is the surprise Woo! Jar Jar. The, uh, the tornado kind of effect <laughs> pair yeah, Jar great. Jar yep. there with his ears. But yes. isn't that cute? And these are, these are such great ideas because these are the ones that, you know, you can throw on the kid's bed. They can fall asleep with when they're young. They're, gonna be, they're not going to be too big. They're going to be the kind of collectibles everybody wants to right. have. They're a lot of fun, and they are so well done. I mean, even down to, like, the little outfits that they wear. Yeah, well, I love the way you can, you can bend the hands here. Yeah. Oh, Wado only has one, two, three digits on his hand, oh. three fingers. And Jar Jar has four. So, Who knew? Well, you know. You, you look go. at the toys and you find out things about Star Wars. And they all come with little hang tags that give some description on them. So if mm -hmm. you're a collector, you'll want to keep this as is, and then you can read about Watto. Or you can read about Jar Jar, you can read about R2-D2. But these, you know, I think so many kids walk out and um, depending on what age they right. are, they're going to either fall in love with, Wa with um, Darth Maul or fall in love with Jar Jar. Right. Or fall in love with both for different reasons. And everybody loves and everybody loves R2-D2. So. In fact, in, so, in, um, in some of the early um, movies, in some of the early showings of the movie, as soon as R2-D2 yeah, came on the screen, was, people were great. screaming yeah. so much they had to stop the movie and tell them to be quiet. It, yeah, it really, was, <laughs> it really was funny. And when R2 meets C-3PO for, for the, the first, first time, it's another great moment. It's one yeah. of those things we all as Star Wars fans sort of fantasize about. You kind of always wondered, how in the world did they get together? Yes, indeed. Since they ended up as such big bosom buddies in the... So. Uh, but there's R2, and I, I do love the sound. It is the most. Yeah, that's great. That is the most authentic sound I have ever heard for an R2-D2. So if you want, you know, if you want to give somebody a great gift, if you have some kids in the family, you want to get them some great collectibles. Yep. Hey, how about we take a question? Oh, that's right. Hey, what does the term Darth mean, Denise in Houston asks. Saw the movie on Thursday and loved it. Darth? doesn't mean anything. George just came up with a name. He said he tried it with a bunch of other names like Darth Smith and Darth Jones and came up with Darth Vader originally and liked the combination. There you go. $19 for your choice of Jar Jar Watto or RTD2 C61646. 
And don't forget, this is our other Watto collectible. This is a, a set of three keychains. You're going to get the Pit Droid, um, Jar Jar, and Watto. All three for under $20. C61642. Those were brand new tonight. They are a lot, a lot of fun, and they are a great collectible. And Star Wars Episode One: The Gungan Frontier is coming up in just about 20 minutes. This one is $39. It does include the Episode One preview behind the magic. It's E23153, and in this game, you are going to actually create your own Star Wars world. Pretty cool. Very good simulation. Try your hand at it. See how you can do. We have something brand new for you. In fact, there's again, there's like eight or nine brand new things in this two-hour show tonight. We've seen a lot of watches. This is going to be a watch that is very easy to read. You don't have to pop up anything if that's not your thing. It is the Star Wars episode, there are you, one C-3PO <laughs> skeletal character it's, watch. This is, what an amazing design this is. Look cool? at Look at the eyes on this. It's sort of, it's a little hard to see on camera. It's a glowing gold metal circles. Uh, I mean, they don't actually glow. It's the look of the light against them. It's just, it just has a great high-tech design to it. And you know, when you see C-3PO in the film, He's not complete. He doesn't have his outer covering, and that's exactly what this simulates. And if you take a look, hold on just a second. Try this once again. Yeah. I always have a hard time getting this thank you, thing out, just to show you exactly how, oh, thanks, how the watch goes. Um, all the way around, you have, of course, the face of C-3PO, and it's very easy to read. It's just like a regular clock face, but it's a little bit longer, so you have the C-3PO face. And then, of course, that goes down mm. into metal, and then you wow. have what looks like the wires going Ooh, all the way cool. around. So it's under $32. And if you want a watch that you can truly wear every day, very easy to see the time, that's a really cool watch. Yeah, it really is. Wow. Now, there you see it on Ico. She's wearing it with that very, very popular Darth Maul T-shirt. She's been flying out of here, <laughs> our brand-new Darth Maul T-shirt tonight. But, you know, everybody loves Star Wars. It's one of those things that you can talk about with anybody. Hmm. It's one of the few things you can actually talk yeah, about Yeah, it with really, anybody. it crosses generations, and just, you never know who is going to be a Star Wars fan. It's pretty amazing. We actually have uh, another question from Blake. Uh, Blake in uh, Ohio. I'm 12 years old. I've always been a Star Wars fan. I was wondering if Lucasfilm is going to release Episode One on VHS or DVD. And the answer is yes, but we're just going to have to wait and see when. Yeah, it'll probably be a while. It will. Unfortunately. It will. We'd all like to have it on video right well, now. Well, you know, it's the theatrical experience that really makes Episode oh, yeah. One great. And so that is the very best place to see it. Well, if you want something to go into summertime with, that's a great watch. When you put it on, it's very, very comfortable. You can see it covers a lot of the front of your wrist. The, uh, the watch band is very, very flexible, so it's going to be easy to wear. It's not going to be anything It's too bulky. It sits nicely against your hand. It's not going to take up a lot of room, and it is going to be very easy to read the time when you're looking at C-3PO's face. And now I'm kind of waiting to see the next two episodes to see when it is that he gets his covering. Well, let's hope it's pretty Since, soon. Uh, I know, he's poor naked. Guy. I know. Poor 3PO, when he realizes that, he's just it's very, very upset. And this, this is one of the things that we had that's brand new. And we've been bringing you things all weekend long. We had uh, started out with our first show. Actually, it was Wednesday. We had a show Friday night, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Tonight's our last weekend show for the big Star Wars weekend we've been having here at QVC. So we saved a lot of brand new things for you for tonight. Right. And if you are a watch collector, a lot of people do collect watches. This is going to be perfect. Yeah, this is so cool. And you notice on the dial, if you can get in there, you can oh, see you know that a lot of the design is amazing. Oh, very quickly, yes. our movie poster has sold out. I knew it. So congratulations if you got that one. Yeah, that was a great movie poster. Congratulations if you got that. Our movie poster has completely sold out. And I'm not surprised about that. No, I'm, I'm not either. Know, it's a, an amazing piece of the Star Wars movie to have. Glad you got it, if you got yeah. it. Yeah. And again, you know, when those are gone, <laughs> They're not going to be. They're not going to be printing more of those. But yeah, it really is. I mean, it's very easy to see. You look at the design of the face beyond the big eyes, which really strike you as the first thing. They used a lot of the design elements from Episode One, just some of the gigaws and the design around the numbers. It just makes it a very bright and very likable watch. I love the fact that the actual design of the watch, the shape of the watch, is in C-3PO's the, the shape of C-3PO's head, which just adds something to it. And then these little high-tech thingies off to the side again just uh, just part of the whole C-3PO look 
That's C61854. It is one of the brand new things in this show. The band is going to be very, very flexible, very, very comfortable. It has the wires that go all the way, the look of the wires that goes all the way around. It's going to go from seven to eight and a half inches in length as far as the length of the band. So you have a lot of different, that'll fit pretty, you know, most of everybody from seven to eight and a half inches on the length. C61854 is the C3PO skeletal character watch. Speaking of great watches, don't forget that we also have the set of four die cast watches. You're going to get all four of these for $49.75 C61440. Those are an unbelievable collectible. The box that they come in, that display box, is something you can only get on QVC. And normally when you buy them, you have to buy them separately. Here you get them in a set. You get them for a lot less than what they've been uh, sold for other places. And you get them in the collectible box. C61440 advanced order. And the brand new episode one, Naboo Starfighter. This is one of the uh, one of the things in the new movie that really caught a lot of people's eye. These starfighters are so beautiful. And this is electronic, makes uh. two different sounds, and fires a missile, and yep. and has lights to go on to. Under thirty three dollars, T one one seven seven five. With this film, the fighting had to be very strong. What I had in mind after watching the first Star Wars films was that, um, was that you would see that they had studied every single style. Swordplay, you know, from Epe to Kendo. That's what we've gone for. I like that there. And, of course, these are going to be your lightsabers. We have your choice of the mm. Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber. That's going to be the single lightsaber in the green. Or the double-sided Darth Maul lightsaber in the red. $23 for the, the uh, green, $35 for the red. These are T12295. And they are very cool because, if you can hear this, can you hear that? They make the noises as well as lighting up and... There's a new effect on these. They have almost like a strobe look on the lights. If, if mm -hmm. you bring the lights down a little, we can see it maybe a little better. Yeah. See yeah, we do need, can we bring the lights down? Just, yeah, okay. Because these, yeah, there you go. Now, yeah, when you actually are. have these, when you hit them against something, do you see what lights up? And you can hear the sounds better, too. Right. So it's going to have the sound, and it's going to light up whenever you hit something. And this, I mean, this is just the coolest thing. In the movie, of course, with Darth Maul, is the first time you see the double-sided lightsaber, and he is one wicked dude with this thing. It also, by the way, folds up like this. Right. So if you want to be really cool, then you can go like that, and you're ready to go. But this is kind of what he looks like with it in the movie. And he does a lot of, it's interesting because he does a lot of blocking. Right, it's amazing. Like this, I mean, like this. And once again, it was George and a lot Lucas of this. who came up with the idea of, let's do something a little different. And a double-sided lightsaber for the first time in the Star Wars universe. Very cool. Yeah, it is amazing. And it's, it's something that your kids will have a lot of fun with. It was so funny. We were carrying these through the hall at one point, and we had to stop and have lightsaber battles with everybody. We everybody saw. wants to play with these. When Every, they it's see like these. it brings out the kid in everybody. You have to, it's like all of a sudden you're 10 years old again. Yeah. This one, I think the light's a little bit brighter than it this is, one. It is, and this one and this one gives you more of the strobe effect when you right. hit it. So they're both a little different, which is nice to have two different effects to it. Yeah, but it is very cool when he comes out and he goes like this. And he's ready to go. And of course, we have these open, but mm -hmm. you know, they start from a low position and go, whoa. So they extend. They're very cool. It's a clever way to make them grow. Wow, Isn't look that at cool? that move. Yeah, this is the coolest move. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, yeah, then you go like watch this. this. And you're ready to go. And they both extend, yeah. This is, this is one of the things that I think makes some of the biggest impressions in the movie is whenever Darth Maul comes out um, in the, the final sequence and you really see him fighting, and he, the doors open up and you see him here, and of course he 
hits it and then one side comes out and then he hits the button and the other side comes right. out and he's just sitting here like this and it is one amazing amazing effect never seen a double-sided lightsaber before now you might wonder how does one guy go against two trained jedi and of course the double-sided lightsaber yeah he does a lot of blocking answer. with this like when the when qui-gon comes in like you know from the, a side like this darth maul's like this right and he's it, it is amazing so amazing two against one right and he'll be like this, going back here, and then getting the, other, the other guy side, with this one. Right. I don't know how in the world. It's the choreography is fantastic for those sequences. We're going to say a very quick hi to Christine from Alabama. Christine, hi, Christine. meet Steve. Christine, you there? Did we um, lose her? This is Justin. Oh, oh, Justin. Hello, Justin. Well, Justin, I apologize. How are you? I'm fine. Justin, did you like the lightsabers? Yes. Um, we just did order it. Oh, good, oh, great. good. Which one did you order? The green one. Oh, the green great. one. Did you see the movie yet? Um, yes. Did you like it? Yes. Yeah. Who Who was your favorite character in the movie? Um, I kind of like Darth Maul. Yeah. <laughs> He's a favorite of a lot of people, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Did you like Jar Jar Binks? Um, yes. Yeah. And Qui Gon and Obi Wan. Mhm. Mm How old yeah. are you, Justin? Um, I'm turning um on eleven in June the great. first. Well, thank you very much for calling. Thanks, okay. Justin. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. You know, that is, everybody is a kid at heart whenever you watch Star Wars. The kids love it, the adults love it. It's going to be your choice of Star Wars Episode One lightsabers for $23 uh, for the red and $35. $23 for the green, $35 for the red. And don't forget the Darth Maul Laser Wrap Travel Tumbler. This one is $19, M5988. That one is brand new this evening. It's going to be perfect for that commute in the morning when you got to have your morning cup of coffee. It'll work for hot and cold beverages, so it's great for summertime, too. M5988. And all the music we've been listening to for the last hour and a half, of course, is from Star Wars Episode One soundtrack. Your choice of the CD or cassette, 12 or 15 dollars, E23434. Kathy Levin has a great sampler tomorrow night with a beautiful Abbasan rug. Take a look. We'll be right back with Star Wars. And we're about an hour and a half, is it? Well, a little over an hour and a half of the way through uh, two hours of Star Wars collectibles. My name is Lisa Robertson. This is Steve Sansweet, head of fan relations at Lucas Films. And of uh, course, he is here to answer questions for you, which we're going to get to uh, some more of those. And to show you some great Star Wars collectibles. So if you love the movie and you love the original movies and you want to get something from the new movie, we got those for you. This is the place. This is your choice of Darth Maul or R2-D2 containers for $23. We showed these last night. They were brand new last night, and they were extremely popular. Right. <laughs> and, and, of course, this one is going to be one that, see, I think just the size of it makes it a great collectible. I think collectible. we'll turn this around so we see oh, our... Oh, there you go. Ah, okay, there see, we I are. See, I like the fact that they're yeah. both, they really open up, and Ooh. they really are containers. And you can put anything in here. This is food grade plastic. And so you can put cookies, you can put liquids. Imagine drinking out of Darth Maul's head or R2-D2's <laughs> body. It would be an interesting experience. Or if you just want something where you can walk in the house and it's a great place to put your keys, great place to put spare change, how you about, know. You know, I have a brilliant idea. How this about, frightens me when you say that. How about serving Jello? in this. I mean, just that sort is of disgusting, <laughs> Steve. That is such a guy thing. <laughs> well, it reminds it's me of such a scene. A guy thing. Reminds me of a scene Indiana from, Jones. Yes, exactly. Indiana exactly. Jones, right Temple of Doom. Knew exactly where you're going with I that one. I think it would be perfect. Uh, Darth Maul is, you know, as we've been Look saying for the whole two hours, wow. one of the most popular, popular characters in the new episode one movie. He really is such a stunning, stunning visual, evil, Literally colorful. and figuratively, yeah. yes, indeed colorful, colorful character. This is so detailed, it even gets down to the earring on his left ear. So they've done an amazing job to, wow. cap to capture the sculpture and to make this look like the actor. Yeah, and look at the eyes. Yeah, the eyes and the Ooh. teeth together. And this is something that would be great to use for Halloween candy when people go trick-or-treating yeah. and you have this on the table near the front door. So what can I get it? To yes. <laughs> Just fill it with red hots or whatever. Well, it's the kind of thing, you know, it's, it's and again, especially if you have um, 
well, if one of the kids in your family loves Darth Maul and they want to have some collectibles or a collectible from Darth Maul in their room, right. this is one that's going to be big enough to that they can really see it. It makes a statement. It really has an effect. They can hide things in there. They can put things in there. They can put their keys in right. there to the car if they're old enough to have a car. You know, it's a, it's a great, you, know, you, you know how it is. You never remember where you put your keys or your glasses. Yeah, i got to put perfect. my keys one place every day. Yeah. So I think this should be right as that's you come in the idea. door. And then you'll always know where they are. That's right. What a super idea. These are both about, the uh, Darth Maul's about 10 inches high, and R2 is a little higher than that. It's and, a great um, uh, Darth contains about, it's about 36 fluid ounces inside Darth Maul. Well, also, I think it's great for the TV room because you can fill it with M&Ms or something, mm. which is a great snack when you're watching the, the video whenever it comes out or watching the original trilogy whenever you already have right. that. You know, if, especially if you um, love to have friends over and watch videos. You know, there's some videos that everybody enjoys. This one is going to be great put that with candy or, you know a little bit of popcorn in here so that's uh, a combination popcorn and candy would be great we're gonna say hi to David from Texas you're making me hungry <laughs> David meet Steve Sansweet hello nice to meet you hi David hey, how David. are you pretty good now let me ask Darth Maul R2D2 Darth Maul yeah like I even had to ask <laughs> <laughs> now are you just gonna have him as something that's great to look at or are you gonna put something in there or? Oh, I'll probably uh, put some things in there I guess but it's a great collector's item. Yeah, it really yeah. is. It's I've a already ordered, oh, well, I've bought all the action figures already. Oh, cool. And two of the posters. Great. Oh, good. I'm so glad you got the posters, yeah. David. They were great. Oh, yes. Definitely. And, you know, he. this is, I just think, it, as you're saying, I mean, even if you don't want to put anything in it, it's such a striking, amazing-looking collectible. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's really heroic. I mean, the size of it and the look of it. I saw this when they, when they first brought it in a, almost a year ago for sculpting approval at Lucasfilm, mm -hmm. and everybody was just wowed by it. They just made a terrific job on this. Yeah. Well, I David, love it. I think it's great. We Super. will have it right out to you. Hope you enjoy it. And if you need to hide something, right there. Oh, yeah. Thanks for calling, David. <laughs> Thanks, Thank David. Bye-bye. Good night. $23, so it's a great price, too. Great yeah, gift kind of range on price. You know, very, very easy to get. Not going to break the bank. C61648, Darth Maul or RTD2, your choice. By the way, that brand new Darth Maul t-shirt, all gone. No more. A61863 is completely sold out. Congratulations if you got that. By the way, still available, the Episode 1 book. If you couldn't get through for this, I know we were very, very busy earlier. If you couldn't get through for this, it is still available at only $17. Um, Star Wars Episode 1, the book, really, really shows you about all the behind the scenes of how it was made and how the characters were done and the costumes and the worlds Lots and the droids. Lots of color photos and, and storyboards oh, yeah. and production paintings. And the illustrated script, which is going to be almost exactly what the actors had to go from when they were reading through the scenes because it has the storyboards and the script in this fourteen dollars and ninety five cents f22884 I'm a huge fan of the series the first day was pretty you know, awesome for me to walk onto a set and looking around at you know, all the people there and the costumes, you know, and then to make it even better, all of a sudden, I was there with, you know, Yoda, and the enormity of the situation was everything I thought a Star Wars experience could be. One uh, interview with Samuel L. Jackson that I was reading, and he was talking about how amazingly lifelike Yoda was. Right. And they would quit doing the the scene. You know, we'd be like on a break, and he'd still be talking to him. It's like, oh my God, Yoda's dead. He said, Yeah. <laughs> Frank Oz took his hand out. Yeah. And, what happened to Yoda? <laughs> he is. Uh, the, the, it does such a great. They do such a great job with Yoda, and of course, Frank Oz, who did the Yoda in the original movies, came back and did Yoda for this. He one. did indeed. Well, this has to be one of my favorite pieces. We had this out. <laughs> we were playing with this uh, last night, and this is amazing. Yeah, take a look at this. Here's Can I press Jar -Jar. the button tonight? Oh, it is, it is all your honor. Okay, here we go. Hi, Bob. Meet the coach, Jar Jar Binks. It's a time for a little buggy. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He's boogieing. And, and of course, yeah, a little something old and yeah. something new there. And, and after the music stops, 
you know, if you play something or sing to him like, Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. You know, <laughs> well, my voice what are you isn't. Do? <laughs> but you know, he'll go. If you put him next to uh, the, radio? Uh, the radio or the CD player, he's going to dance for you to whatever you have, and he'll do it to the beat of the music. And then you press the button again, and he'll go <laughs> through he'll his go routine. The yeah, the again. cantina music, and it's just great. And once again, you have these big, wonderful floppy ears that flop around when he dances. Now, we showed this last night for the first time, and two-thirds of our quantity is already spoken for. So we, ha we have fewer than a third of our original quantity remaining. <laughs> but this is going to be one. Jar Jar is such an animated character, literally and figuratively. Yeah, I, that, wonder uh, if, I wonder if Ahmed Best has seen this yet. Ahmed, who plays the voice and, and did the actions of Jar Jar before he was animated digitally. I'm sure he will love this piece. <laughs> Just love this piece. This is one that you know, you know your kids would love. Yeah, absolutely. Kids? So, okay, or kids at heart. Well, um, yeah, this and is And it is great. only $38, and we only have about 600 of these remaining. Let's Count. make him do it again. Yeah, go. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. This is Jaja Brinks. It's a time for a little buggy. <laughs> and this music is from? From Star Wars, the cantina music. Now, I don't know what that's from. It's the drum solo from oh, the Cantina I song. Okay, I that didn't really one. make it into the original movie, but Undoubtedly. it was edited out. <laughs> that laugh is infectious. It really is infectious. It's so well, he is, cool. He is such an, an amazing character from the movie. He is, again, a, a very colorful, vivid you know, hard to ignore character. Yeah, well, you know, when Ahmed Best actually filmed in the movie, they did at least one version of each scene with Ahmed Best in mm -hmm. a Jar Jar suit, but because Jar Jar is taller than Ahmed or just about any living human being, right. they had a Jar Jar top piece. And so yeah, his he eyes wore, were like... Yeah, so he wore a, a thing on top of his head, here. Ahmed Best did, that had the eyes of Jar Jar and, and the top of the beak. And so you see people in the footage that had Ahmed in it looking up not to Ahmed's head because they covered right. his eyes because you naturally look at the eyes, but looking at the top of oh. Jar Jar's eyes. And he had to wear a suit that was like this amazing latex padded suit with the a little thing warm of Jar in Jar. Tunisia in the desert. Yeah, in yes. the desert. It's a wonder he didn't pass out. Only about 300 of these remaining. They're only $38 a piece. They're a lot of fun. The episode one, Dancing Jar Jar, C62368. And speaking of Jar Jar. <laughs> We have the episode one Jar Jar wake up system. This is the stuffed Jar Jar with the molded head and feet that is going to actually have a little clock in him that interacts with the droid clock. And what that's gonna do is at a certain time in the morning and evening for whenever you set it, it's going to go through a little routine for making your child go to sleep or go through a little routine for making your child wake up. It's gonna talk to your child and, and vibrate softly to kind of wake your child up. And it also says a whole bunch of phrases if you push his left hand and tells you what time it is when you push his right hand. As it does a lot there. It's, yes. Does a lot. Talks. <laughs> and we also have the episode one set of three keychains. Those are brand new tonight. That's going to be the Pit Droid, Jar Jar, and Watto C61642. Hey, Balik from Ireland is returning from QVC. We're going to be right back with some very, very cool watches. And we are coming to, um, well, coming up to oh, <laughs> close to the no. end of Star Wars. This is going to be our last Star Wars collectible show for this weekend. And we have a couple watches for you, literally a, a couple in each set. This is going to be your choice of two watch sets from Episode 1. This is C61851, $17.50. That's going to be... It's an amazing price for the two. Yeah, less than $9 Either a piece. Set. And you're going to get two watches, and they come in these cases that look like lightsaber handles. They have the keychains, you can put them on your belt, you can store your watches them whenever you want. Here's one set. This is Anakin Skywalker and Jar Jar. Here's Anakin in his pod racing helmet and you just flip up his head and there you can see the time. Isn't that a cool watch? And it's not going to be heavy. Great detail on this one. And this is Jar Jar Binks. And of course it says Jar Jar right up there. That's one set. So that's going to be Anakin and Jar Jar. And then your other set. And for the other set we have C-3PO and Darth Maul. And these again come in these wonderful lightsaber cases. 
And the C-3PO one in particular is just amazing. It has wires inside yeah, of it. And that's real wires yeah, in there. It's very real bizarre. Real wires. It's just a great looking piece. And again, it flips up and tells the time inside. So you see the wires in the top of the head. And, then and the Darth Maul once again captured an amazing Ooh. form. Now, you didn't know they played a scene together, did you? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness. Ah, Darth Maul. So you get either He's set, evil. Darth Maul cool? and 3PO. Well, you know, when you start thinking about Star Wars collectibles and you think about things that are really cool, that are, are going to be different, that you're really going to enjoy, this is, this is like getting four things for right. $17.50 because you get the two watches, which you know you're going to love, and you're going to get the cases, which look like lightsaber handles. They're really fun. Yeah, which are going to be a lot of fun to play with, and they're going to be kind of kids things that your kids love to take to school and play with and have hanging from their backpack or hanging from their belt when they're playing Star right. Wars. And, and, of course, the Darth Maul lightsaber is a little bit different. Right. It's uh, it like half the handle of the double-sided lightsaber, which yeah. is very cool. So three are the same, and then the other one is the Darth Maul handle. But it's just a great idea. These are very colorful. They really, really get your attention. They're very visual. The kind of things people really notice. They're a lot of fun. They're not going to be too expensive, so they're not the kind of thing you're going to break the bank just to have something you love from the movie that you love. And if you are a kid or a kid at heart, you just love to have things to play with. Right. You, you can know? either get your favorite character or sort of trade off by having two or even four of them. I can't believe these are less than $9 a yeah, piece. It's an Look at the detail price. on Jar Jar's head. With those little eyes. <laughs> Look at that. That's Look at great. how detailed that is, the way his ears come out on the sides. And I like the fact that the eyes are soft so you can move them around and sort of play a little with them. <laughs> Which he definitely <laughs> does yeah, in the movie. He sure does. And then, of course, the bands are continuations. They just look like the front of the characters. I mean, they are the coolest set of watches for under $9 a piece. Jar Jar and Anakin or Darth Maul and C-3PO, C1, C61851. Speaking of, uh, speaking of great watches, we've had a lot of really great watches. Over 6,000 of these have been ordered this weekend. This is the Star Wars Episode One set of four die-cast watches, $49.75. You're going to have R2-D2, the Pit Droid, the Battle Droid, and Darth Maul all in that collectible box you only get on QVC. And those are under $50. They will ship on June the 14th. And coming up in just about 10 minutes, Lynn Tucker has a one-time only value because our today's special value And we also have the Perfect Fold rolling carry-on luggage. This is F20801. It's the only day this month this one's going to be available on Easy Pay. So if you're Well, coming up next, this is a brand new game, at least for us here. This is at, great. Uh, this QVC. is and this is a brand new product. It's from Lucas Learning and it's Episode one, The Gungan Frontier. And this takes the movie and takes some fascinating characters in the movie mm -hmm. and takes it one step further. It's the first Star Wars simulation game in which you actually build your own planet. That's right. What's happening here is Otogunga, the underwater city, is threatened. There's an ecological disaster happening. And so they have to transport themselves to a moon of Naboo and try to rebuild the whole civilization. In fact, if you take a look here, this is the training mission. Yeah, well, and we'll show this, I believe. Can we show this direct? There you go. Yeah, so when here, you turn the... Okay. Who's that gonna yeah. be? That's loud. And that's Boss Nass. And this, of course, goes through the whole mission of exactly what you're doing and what, you, what you're going to have to accomplish. I'm going to escape out of this and go back to here. And here you can choose the training mission, uh, a new game. You can load the game. Do you want to create a critter? Create a critter. See, what you have to do is bring critters and plants to the new environment. And there's a problem if you don't create enough or if you create too many. So you That's have to right. have the right ecological balance. Well, this so is all part of uh, Lucas learning. I mean, they really try to create games that are going to be learning experiences Exactly. You also have to worry that it's the right environment for certain creatures, or the mm -hmm. creatures will eat each other. And of course, it's all part of the Star Wars universe. So if you love the movie, one of the most amazing things was um, Definitely. One of the most amazing things was definitely the whole Gungan city underwater. Right. And with this, there's all kinds of characters that you can actually choose. Do you know how to make a capesta? 
You neither, huh? Uh, well, here you go. Now here it is. The underwater this is city so of new. Hotel Gunga <laughs> has become dangerously overcrowded. Colonization of the water moon of Naboo is about to begin. In preparation, the Gungans have collected many exotic creatures from the small planet of Naboo and others throughout the galaxy that should thrive on the empty moon. Have you ever tried to explain an ecosystem to your child? This is a good way to this do it. This is a great way to do it because learning how things interact with this video game is going to be an excellent example of how things interact in real life. How creatures depend on each other, how things work. And it does come with the bonus CD, so what I'm going to do, there you go, is escape right out of that. Back to the beginning. I'm going to quit the game and show you something from the episode one preview that comes with it. Hold on just a minute. The episode one preview is a product that has some great stuff from Behind the Magic, all about episode one, and has some brand new stuff that's coming out in another episode one Behind the Magic CD-ROM, which will be available in a couple of months. Now, here you go. Okay. This is amazing because this really, really shows you a lot of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. There's interviews in here. There's shots that were taken when they were on the set. There's actual movie trailers here in the episode one preview. Uh, which one should we look at? There's so many really cool things. Let's look one behind, behind the scenes. The scenes? Yeah. Okay. And here you can actually see an interview with Rick McCallum, the producer. Well, there's not really a tradition that I know of that producers actually do the first slate. Um, but I've always done it all, all my movies. So ever since I've done this, uh, everything. Oh, you got to get it to get the rest of it. I'm, gonna, I'm exiting. I'm escaping out of there. And while we look at this, we're going to say hi to Barbara from West Virginia. Barbara, meet Steve Sansweet. Hi, Barbara. Hi, how are you? Just fine, thanks. Now, Barbara, what was it about this game that really caught your eye? Uh, the graphics. Oh, they're very explicit. Yeah, yes. they're 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 really amazing, and so it takes a lot of the creatures that were created for Episode One and new creatures that never quite made it on the screen, but were sort of lurking in the background, and Correct. uses those to create this new environment that that you or your kids will create. Actually, build a planet and simulate the whole ecosystem of a planet. Right, right. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm anxious to see the movie. I mean, we've seen the other, the older Star Wars, and we, we we're looking forward to seeing this. Well, you're really going to enjoy it. Yeah, this and, is. And this is one of the most amazing environments in the whole movie, the underwater city of Odogunga, mm -hmm. and and the whole civilization that has been created with the the Gungans and all of the creatures that live underwater. It's uh, it's really something else. And with this game, it's very clever because if you have questions about any of the creatures, there is an online encyclopedia which gives you answers, identifies all the creatures, and tells you something about their backgrounds, their environments, what they eat, who eats them. Very cleverly done. Oh, how nice. Very nice. Barbara, enjoy it. We'll have it right out to you. And thank you so much for calling. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Barbara. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know, and it is neat to be able to have a video game that's actually going to be able to teach something besides just, you know, right. being without, fun. Yeah, and without being it's hit. It's going to be both. Yeah, and without being hit over the head, uh, you know, you must learn this. It's a very easy way to learn how an ecosystem works. This is Star Wars Episode One, the Gungan Frontier PC game. It is brand new today and includes the Star Wars Episode One preview behind the magic. It's E23153. It's from Lucas Learning, and it's a game that's going to be educational as well as fun. And the Star Wars Episode One Darth Maul flip phone. If you're looking for a cool phone, this is $28.50. It was brand new this evening, T11744. And the brand new set of three keychains. This is going to be the Pit Droid, Jar Jar, and Watto for $19.75. They're jointed. They're a lot of fun. C61642. And I would have to say my favorite for the evening is definitely the uh, Jar Jar wake-up system. That's a, a stuffed Jar Jar with the molded head and feet. You set it for a certain time. It interacts with the droid clock, and it wakes your child up by talking to him and shaking. And, of course, it, it will uh, also do the same thing when your child needs to go to sleep. It has a lot of great sayings. It tells your child the time anytime it wants. It's it so is, cool. It's all in Jar Jar's voice. It is so much fun and so adorable. And the episode one caps, this is A61448, $13 for your choice of Darth Maul in the black or Star Wars in the navy with the two stripes. And don't forget the die, the die cast watches. Our original quantities have sold out. You can get this on advance order. It will ship on June the 14th. For $49.75, you get all four metal die cast watches, including R2-D2, the Pit Droid, the Battle Droid, and Darth Maul. They come in that collector's box only at QVC, C61440. 
And the brand new Episode 1 Naboo Starfighter, $32.75, T11775. That one is going to be a lot of fun. It makes a couple sounds, it shoots a little laser, and it lights up. And the Darth Maul Laser Wrap Travel Tumbler, also brand new tonight for $19 and $5988. That works for hot or cold beverages and has the one finger operation on the open and close. And also brand new, the Star Wars Episode One book. This is $17. This is the making of Star Wars. This is some of the best information. It is amazing. Over 250 pictures in this. F22883. And the Episode One plush dolls, Watto, Jar Jar, and R2-D2. Watto and Jar Jar are bendable. R2-D2 makes the authentic R2-D2 noises. Your choice for $19, C61646. And the Episode One C-3PO Skeletal Character Watch, $31.75, C61854. That one is also brand new tonight. Your choice of Episode One lightsabers. We have the green single lightsaber for $23 and the red double-sided lightsaber for $35. T12295, they light up. They have kind of a strobe effect when they hit something and they make all the sounds. And the Star Wars Episode One container is Darth Maul or R2-D2, $23, C61648. Those are food grade containers. And the Episode One Acrylic Blankets, your choice of Anakin Skywalker, Darth Maul, or Jar Jar Binks, $27, H65030. And the Episode One Two Watch Sets, we have C-3PO and Darth Maul in one set, Anakin Skywalker and Jar Jar in the other set, and each watch comes in its own case that looks like a lightsaber handle. And the brand new Episode One Gundam Frontier PC game, $39, E23153. This is brand new from Lucas Films, Lucas Learning, and it's actually going to be something you create your own planet, your own world. And the Episode One Illustrated Script, F22884, $14.95. This is going to be pretty much what the actors had when they first started out by doing uh, the reading of the scripts. It has the storyboards, and it's a lot of fun. Also, the Episode One soundtrack, all the music you've been hearing for the last two hours is from the Episode One soundtrack. Your choice of CD or cassette, E23434. And we didn't have a chance to get to this, but it is available, the Episode One Sith Remote Control. It's a universal remote that makes uh, some different sounds. It yes, lights up. Master. It makes that sound, too. <laughs> and, it, of course, it's going to work for your TV, VCR cable, satellite, DVD, the whole nine yards. And the Episode One PVC gift set. These are the small figures, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, and Darth Maul. The Battle Droid is one that you only get with this gift set, C61636. And the Dancing Jar Jar, last call, only about 100 remaining. This is only $38, C62368. And this is actually the correct item number on our set of four die-cast watches. It's C62377. These are advance orders, and they will ship on June the 14th. And that's it for this two hours of Star Wars Collectibles. Steve, thank you so much. Wow, I can't believe the weekend's over. I know. But let's all there go out go. and see Star Wars Episode One again. That's the end of our Star Wars weekend. Next Thursday, we're going to have uh, a special something from Star Wars. So I hear. That's all I can tell you, but you're going to like it. Make sure and stay tuned. Lynn Tucker's coming up next. She has a one-time only value, which you do not want to miss, so don't go away.